Good afternoon, oil traders. It is Thursday, September 28th at 3.41 p.m. Eastern Time. And what a turn of events. Uh, we've dropped from the high about as much as 3%, um, over a buck and a half um, off the price of crude from the high to the low today. Um, we've bounced back up a little bit, but basically we're closing substantially lower um, for the day. Um, as uh, planned, I was looking to exit the rest of my long position and I did that shortly after the open, which turned out to be the day's high um, for the North American markets and I sold at a crude price of 52.73. Um, it was literally the best price in North America for today. Um, I wasn't greedy. Um, it was not the high of the morning from the, the pre-market or overseas trading session. So um, I thought it was a good price and it turned out to be the best price. Um, so there you go. Sometimes not being greedy is greedy. <laughs> um, I then entered a short order to buy at 52.77. And of course, since 52.73 was the high of the day, um, we never got there and I never got the short. So I never really benefited from um, that first part of the drop until we fell below um, 52, of course. And then I had my 51.87 short position um, from uh, last week that I've been waiting on and finally um, got out of that um, when we hit bottom. Um, I didn't quite get the lowest price of the day. Uh, the low was uh, 51.23. Um, if I flip over to the one day chart here, um, the low was 51.23 and I sold again at a ungreedy um, 51.28. Um, we got to 51.28 a couple of times and I thought that that was uh, a safe bet and uh, you know the risk of waiting for the absolute low of the day to touch again um, just wasn't worth it um, and but that being said after I got my sell order we did get to 51.23 so I could have gotten there but uh, so be it no regrets because we bounced back up and I repurchased the short um, yet again um, at a crude price of 51.55, which is exactly where we are right now. And it looks like that's where we're going to close. So as long as we head down again tomorrow, <laughs> fingers crossed, um, it'll help. Um, now the long position that I sold was at a loss. Um, I took a loss of $536 and uh, the short that I sold was for profit at $319. So it was a net loss today of $217, but I've never been happier to take that loss um, because as you know I've been holding that long position forever um, so yeah so two two days in a row um, I took losses um, but uh, yeah happy to do so I guess um, I shouldn't actually it's not two days in a row but uh, two two days in the of the week I guess I've taken losses uh, but I've got uh, profits coming in, in again to help compensate that and uh, things are looking rosy for the bears for the time being. Of course, tomorrow we might be back above 52, so who knows? Um, I would have liked to get into a long position as a hedge, um, and I would have done so if we dropped after the sale of my um, short position, but considering that we went back up, I would prefer to get into the short again, although in I did so in a smaller position. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I did. What did you guys do? Um, did this take you by surprise or were you expecting it? Did you profit from it? Um, let me know in the comments down below on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, performance, etc, etc. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of trading tomorrow at or before 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers.